To me, Global Reach Out is inspiring. It's connecting with God, reaching out to the world, and impacting life. The stories that are shared is so personal and it deeply impacted me. Global Reach Out to me is reach out to the truth. Connecting hearts, connecting lives. You're listening to Global Reach Out. To me, Global Reach Out is inspiring. It's connecting with God, reaching out to the world, and impacting life. The stories that are shared is so personal and it deeply impacted me. Global Reach Out to me is reach out to the truth. Connecting hearts, connecting lives. You're listening to Global Reach Out. Dear brothers and sisters, thanks for tuning in to Global Reach Out. I am Sister Angeli. And starting from November this year, we have launched a program called The Kingdom Business Culture. This program is based on the workplace training course by Global Gyra entitled Christ-Centered Entrepreneurship. This course was compiled by Pastor Tony Tay Ming Hyang to help brothers and sisters live out Christ in the workplace. In today's talk, we will learn about the principles of the kingdom's economy from Ephesians 1 verse 10. It is written in the scriptures, To be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. In this episode, we will learn firstly, what is the economy? And secondly, What are the principles of the kingdom economy? Economy is derived from the Greek word oikonomia. Oiko meaning household, nomia meaning management. So the original meaning of economy is home management. In Ephesians 1.10, it says, To be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. The original text of arrangement is oikonomia. Ephesians 3 verse 10 records, His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly kingdom realms. The original text of the arrangement here is also oikonomia. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 4 states, Not to devote themselves to myths and endless genealogies. Such things promote controversial speculations rather than advancing God's work, which is by faith. In the scriptures, the original text for work is oikonomia. From the above three verses, we can see that God values his family, the management of the kingdom, and he allows us to participate in this management work. We are now going to compare the economic principles of the world and the economic principles of the kingdom. When the Israelites were in Egypt, they experienced the harm caused by the business model operating on the economic principles of the world. The Israelis also experienced the blessings of the business model operating on the economic principles of the kingdom in Canaan. Let us now discuss the differences between the two. Firstly, the economic principle of the world is the curse of men living in the old self, the old Adam, where man loses the presence of God. The economic principle of the kingdom makes men live in the new self, the blessing of Christ. The old self will live under the curse by trusting his own way and doing what is right in his own eyes. The new self will live under the blessing of God by trusting in God's way and obeying God's command. As children of God, we must remember that trusting and obedience is the way to blessing. The principle of the kingdom economy is to bless people. 
Secondly, the economic principle of the world is one of slavery, an economic system without freedom. The other is a corporate system, a free market economic system. In other words, one is to satisfy one's own desires by controlling and using others, and the other is to let people have free space to respond to their callings. The principle of the kingdom economy is to set people free. Thirdly, the economic principle of the world is to make ends meet through labor, people-centered supply. The kingdom is with mountains and valleys. It is God-centered supply. The economic principle of the world is to focus on men with everything relating to men's supply and ultimately to give glory to men. The economic principle of the kingdom is to focus on God. Everything is related to God's supply, and ultimately it is also for God's glory. The principle of the kingdom economy is that everything is related to the supply of God. Fourthly, the economic principle of the world brings insufficiency because of sinner's greed. However, the economic principle of the kingdom brings abundance because of God's favor. We are playing the role of stewards, so our focus is on managing God's resources properly, not on getting more money. Greed makes people like more, but contentment can make us enter abundance because of God's favor. The principle of the kingdom economy is therefore contentment and not greed. Fifthly, the world relies on chariots or human methods and horses, human strength. The kingdom, however, relies on the supply of God. The world tells us that people must rely on themselves and carry out their methods with their own strength. God wants us to completely rely on Him and let His Spirit run in us. Man is completely incapable of accomplishing God's will, and only when someone is willing to admit that he is completely incapable, God will enable us to carry out His plan. The principle of the kingdom economy is to rely on the Lord to do His work. Lastly, the economic principle of the world depends on a limited market quota, while the other depends on unlimited creativity and multiplication. God can give us an abundance of creative management resources to benefit many people and multiply the market. The principle of the kingdom economy, therefore, has unlimited creativity from the master to develop the market. If we are to become outstanding entrepreneurs of the kingdom in God's eyes, we must properly manage the resources entrusted to us by God in accordance with the principles of the kingdom's economy. The criterion for measuring the excellence of an entrepreneur is not how much money he can make in a year, but how strong his ability to manage resources is. Dear listeners, this is where we end today's episode. I hope to see you on the next episode of Kingdom Business Culture. Thank you. The program is proudly presented by Global Reach Out. We welcome you to share our live enriching webcasts with family and friends through our website, global-reachout.org. Let's reach out to bless more lives together.